Competitors and fighting game fans alike made their way to Battle Arena Melbourne, the largest live tournament of its kind in the Oceanic region. Across the three days of digital brawling mayhem, players battled their hearts out as they worked their way through the brackets of their respected fighting game of choice. Over at the Tekken 7 stage, one fighting game star proved to the rest of the Battle Arena Melbourne that he was worthy of the tournament's title and trophy. Mixing it up between King and Armour King, local contender the Hangman Kid was a force to be reckoned with as he qualified to the Battle Arena Melbourne Tekken 7 Top 8. His first opponent in the winner's side bracket was Yagami, an Elisa fighter who through two games fell hard and fast to the tournament favourite. Two rounds ahead of his opponent, the Hangman Kid held on tight as the clock ticked down to zero. A ticket to the winner's final was the King players for the taking. Oh, last hitting three went for the low. Excellent, excellent duck, but unfortunately no punish. Ducks underneath, last hitting two. This is Hangman's game to win. Ducks underneath, unblockable. And two seconds left, he can't do it. He can't do it. Hangman Kid looks like you got me to lose this. His set with Yagami might have been a breeze, but the Hangman Kid's next competitor would be his toughest yet in the Melbourne tournament. Fresh off the plane from New Zealand, Josie player Yumi, a Battle Arena Melbourne first-timer, challenged the Hangman Kid in the event's winners' finals. A clash of titans that kept the BAM 12 crowd on the edge of their seats. In three devastating rounds, the Hangman Kid asserted his dominance, pummeling Yumi over and over without dropping. The second game of the series came down to the wire, as both players claimed two rounds aside. The tiebreaker was even closer, as each fighter stood firm with extremely low health. Josie at the wall is dangerous down through the floor, punishes him for staying on the ground. This is anyone's game. This is still anyone's game. Josie just needs one launch. Excellent punish. Hangman in, in, in rage. Oh, one, two, three again. And Yumi, wow, what a comeback. Yumi evened the scores with a remarkable comeback. Wasting no time, game three was underway and the Hangman Kid was not going to let his opponent get the better of him once more. With a dangerous string of attacks, the Hangman Kid took control of the final round, connecting an Atlas Hammer before setting up his finish with a running Jaguar Bomb. For a third time in the set, the players entered a tie-breaking fifth round. Yumi's early aggression paid off. Following a few brutal strikes against the wall, it was a whiff punish of the Hangman Kid's rage strike that won Yumi the set. The winner's final entered a fifth and final round. It was all or nothing for both players, as the position to the BAM 12 Tekken 7 Grand Finals hung in the balance. I had nerves going into playing Yumi. Yeah. He, he's, he's so strong. And look, honestly, he wanted to prove wants to prove himself. He wants it so bad. No break on the giant on the what's it called the Nice. He jumps over him. Yeah. With a hop over his opponent, the first round was firmly secured by the Hangman Kid. Yumi chipped away what damage he could against the King Star, but a vicious gut punch by the Hangman Kid swung the second round back into his favour. Knowing his opponent was at set point, Yumi evaded what grabs he could and brought the Hangman Kid to his knees to put a point on the board. The crowd was getting behind Yumi as he fought back valiantly in the fourth round. With a scrap of health remaining, the Josie star took down the Hangman Kid and brought the winner's finals down to the very last round. Oh, he got him to the back! He got him to the back! Oh my god, that's the last hit whiffed! What the? What is going on? Yumi could have had great Oki off that, but unfortunately the last hit whiffed. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. One launch as anyone's gone. Nice! Hangman! What a life lead! One hit! One hit! Four, four, four! Got a hit! Yumi! What's he got? What's he got? Rage available for both players here. And Yumi is taking it to the final round. In what was easily the closest Tekken 7 round of the entire weekend, both players landed their combos until there was only a pixel worth of health remaining on both sides. What happened next stunned the BAM 12 crown. Nice. Gets a lost anyone. Down for two, King. Hangman Kid's fighting. He's fighting so hard. He's got the STF. Oh no, he's not. He's bridged. That's even more damage. That's even more damage. 
Who, who, Hangman has a life lead now, right? And Rage. Oh and my god, it's so close. 10 seconds. Rage drive out for you. Rage drive out for Hangman. Oh! 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 Hangman takes it! He takes it! By the skin of his teeth and the sweat on his controller, the Hangman Kid pulled through in a microsecond strike, earning his seat in the event's grand final showdown. The Battle Arena Melbourne 12 Tekken 7 title was in arm's reach. Accepting the loss, Yumi entered the competition's losers finals, where he came face to face with the tournament's lower bracket contender, McCheese, another king player. Yumi needed this win. This was his last shot at a ticket to the event's grand finals and his last shot at revenge against the player that put him here. Stretching out to the fifth and final game, McCheese, who had now made the switch to Farkenram, wasn't going to let Yumi roll over him so easily. Although he was consistently pressured into the wall, Yumi's moments to strike were timed correctly. A counter hit ended the series and progressed the New Zealand player to the BAM 12 Tekken 7 Grand Finals. Nice. Down for one, two catches Yumi Duck and after that, after that switch stance too. Nice down back two once again, that is minus 10. Not a very used move. Yumi is actually one of the only judges I see use that. Nice. Yumi just poking away at McCheese. Five bucks. Oh, what a counter hit for. Excellent work from Yumi. Yumi's wish was granted. He needed to defeat the Hangman Kid in a best of five series in order to reset the grand finals bracket. Then do it all again to claim the tournament trophy. That's six epic games where no mistakes could be made. Loading into the first game, it was the Armor King star that asserted his dominance after a speedy 24 second round. Timing the first game out to its fourth round, it was the Hangman Kid who ended the set perfectly without his opponent landing a blow. Nice, all right. Just trying to wait, wait who was standing forward. Just using maybe that better move than the, that uh, what's it called? Ar Armor King has as well. Wow, instant giant swing. Uh, not giant swing, shining wizard, excuse yep. me. Nice, wow, what an excellent block on the CD4. Wow. Yumi was definitely feeling the pressure as he lost the first round in the second game. Finding a way to collect himself, he soon followed up with a few combos of his own to chip away the Hangman Kid's life lead. Know, the crowd got excited as the set entered a tie-breaking round. The Hangman Kid found a way in with a duck uppercut and soon after pummeled his opponent to put himself at tournament point. Oh, damn, Steps. He steps as, uh, what's it called, the Wasp 81. Very interesting. Yeah. Nice fourth foot edition too. Both right. Oh, but finally gets the dark upper. What a great timing on that. Only minus 10, but so much damage. Nice down ball once again. Nice for the switch dance. He noticed that a counter hit because for the switch dance one can he. Down, down, down for one. Nice and the down forward one yeah. catching the step. Yumi now had to win three games in a row in order to reset the grand finals bracket. A monumental task for the Tekken 7 Pro. To the audience's amazement, Yumi completely switched on in the third game. He found opportunities to combo the Armor King player in three straight rounds. With a single pixel of health remaining, Yumi confirmed his victory with a Rage Art and finally landed a point on the Grand Finals board. Nice sidestep too, because he knew that Yumi was going to sidestep that way. This might be dead. No. Guess is wrong. Excellent. Wow, but what a punish from Yumi. Rage Art. Oh, Oh! Wow! Now, what a combo from Yumi to take his first game. This could have been the start of something great, but with a switch back to King, the Hangman Kid had other plans. With a beautiful string of attacks leading into a whiff punish finish, Yumi claimed the first round to kick things into gear. The play was answered back immediately by the Hangman Kid as he built pressure and comboed his way back with a substantial life lead. One round aside, each player was playing defensively as the clock ticked down. Yumi ultimately won the round with a scrap of life ahead of the King player. 
Yumi was one round away from evening the score in the grand final. But the hangman kid was not going to let that happen. Pitting the Josie star against the wall, his kicks and punches went through unblocked. At two rounds aside, it was make or break for Yumi. The crowd waited in anticipation to see what would happen next. Hangman with a huge life lead here. Down back three, hits Yumi on the ground. Diving tackle. Trying to equalize it is broken. Nice, excellent punish on the power, on the power crush. But four, four goes underneath it. CD one plus two is blocked. CD four is blocked. Ross heading four, goes for the alley kick, picks up. And Hangman Kid is your damn 12 winner. Mixing it up to take the final round of the tournament, the Hangman Kid became the Battle Arena Melbourne 12 Tekken 7 champion. Another glorious story from the Australian fighting game community. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.